Hey, Orange One here, and we are at this little evac shelter base that we've got. Um, it's it's kind of interesting. We've brought our cow in from our car here. Uh, this window is still open because that thing is down. I do have two companions. They're just kind of hanging out in here. Let me go ahead and uh, turn on my... Um, oh, no, I flashlight's out of power. Basically, let me, let me go get a battery. Basically, we've got a um, the skeletons of a little base up and running here. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and, and reload a couple things. Sure, why not? And then, yes, the flashlight. That's why I was really trying to reload in the, the whole uh, reason that we were doing this. So yeah, we'll get rid of that. And let's go in here. I just like, you know, it looks better when it's in color, so I just kind of want to show you guys that off. I've kind of forgot to do that beforehand. So we got our little cooking station over here, which was uh, the thing that we were trying to build in the menu up here. I also have someone, um, Harvey Cohen, he's out foraging. He's pretty much done, actually, so we'll, we'll bring him up uh, back soon. I also have a workbench um, that I can build. I've got these materials on the table there that we set up with the capital Y commands here. Uh, you can see we've got the storage and we've got like parts and stuff. So we got those those tables all kind of set up. So this this will recognize that. So now we can be like, hey, I want I want that built, but unfortunately we don't have enough food. I did actually make a little hamburger. It's super weird though. I wanted to show this off. I thought you th find this funny. We made it with cornbread a pickle, rehydrated meat, and seasoned salt. Mmm, delicious, right? So if I go ahead and put that down here, I believe that's uh, what we have as our, our food stockpile. So if I go here, and I think it's the distribute food job. Okay, yeah, that distributed not that many calories, actually. Um... I don't have enough food. Okay, well, let's go get more food then. I thought I had a ton of food in there. I guess I don't know. Maybe it, I, it all got spent on the people doing the, um, whatchamacallit. We had, like, people doing, uh, different missions, like, out, out and about. And we could give them a bunch of candy. It's got um, calories. I think that that actually is not a half bad idea. We could ju just give them a bunch of junk food. Yeah, give them the dessert packs and the beef stew and, and all that. I think that that should be a good amount of calories. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, if, I, if I go to E and I hit E... Look at these things. Some of them have like 200, 300 calories. That hamburger was just like over 100. So like these candies have just as much uh, calories as um, that meal that I cooked. It was actually a pretty good meal. Um, and then I'm curious if I look at this. Um, yes, I need to disassemble that. I'm going to do that actually to this as well. And then that. Let's get all of that disassembled. And I'm going to take all the things that are right below us. And if it's food, I'm moving it over there. Um, the other things I'll take, though. Um, and we can disassemble those. And that should be a good amount of uh, calories. And then I think that's that's everything that we can get from this. Uh, the coffee powder, though, hold on. The coffee powder I would like to take myself and the lemonade drink mix. Those are two things that are kind of hard to find in the game. They're kind of rare drops, uh, so to speak. Uh, the gummy vitamins I'll also take. The water pur purification. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take those things. The other things, they'll get sorted. And actually, let's just kind of make sure there's, uh, yeah, this is saying that anything that's over here should get sorted. So I think the person that we have right here, 
Um, these people, I've assigned them, like, jobs on the board. So they're doing, like, continuous jobs for me. Um, and it looks like I can actually return... Oh, look, there's uh, some stuff on the table there that just got dropped off. I want to check. I'll check that out in just a, a second. Um, let's go ahead and just distribute food. And look at that. That was a lot of calories there. So I bet we have enough now to build that workbench. Um, it looks like Tasia's got the best fabrication here. So we'll have Tasia again going on that. Um, I want to show you what I mean by the jobs, like, automatically. So I've, I've been playing around with this a little bit, as you can probably tell. Harvey right here, he just was out foraging for us, probably got a few things. Um, what I want him to do is, if I hit, I think it's, um, assign work at this camp, if it's, so it's I, and then I can be like, hey, um, I want you sorting loot if you can, or I want you, I don't know, doing constructions if you can, um, or tidying up if you can, you know, or repairing a vehicle if you can. Sure, if you if you do all those things, that would be great. And then I can be like, I'll see you around. And he should do jobs as they become available. Right now, he's just kind of waiting, which is kind of strange because I thought this stuff would be getting sorted out, but maybe I don't have the, the categories made or something. Oh, also, because we have the cow here, we can periodically milk it and get food. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a little while. Um, so this is going to take how long? Two hours? Okay, so there's also one other thing I want to show you. is I have been reading some books to these guys to get some of their skill levels up. Um like their fabrication and whatnot. And then look, we can also um, have them craft things for us. Like we can have them cook food, which is great, but I don't have like a lot of fish and egg right now, but we could go out and we could go collect bird eggs and um, raise some birds possibly. I don't know if we can upgrade this and then get more men um, more like uh, crafting things that I can do because I do believe that I have enough stuff to do some interesting crafting. Uh, hold on. Uh, I wanted to look at G. Yeah, so there's some dandelions. He got some herbs and some other stuff, but eh. Not a lot of food. Like, honestly, probably not worth sending him out for food. We'll just keep them here and I'll get the food myself, is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so, yeah. Let's, let's see, what, what else could we do? Oh, you know what I could do? While that is all being worked on, I could go uh, get us some more cows. That was one of the things I was thinking of doing. Can I make any more cattle fodder? Um, I need a fair amount of wild vegetables. Like, five would do the trick. Um, buckwheat. I guess we don't have buckwheat. I thought we had buckwheat in here. Do I already have any cow fodder made, maybe? Yeah, I've got one made. That's that's not going to be enough. There's, like, I think at least six cows down there. So what we need to do is... Um, I need to go foraging a little bit, and then we're going to go get those cows. So maybe I go down to these trails just uh, south here. And we'll do a little foraging there. So we'll leave our, our friends up here in this little camp. That we've uh, we've carved out for them. And um, by the way, if you're wondering where I got some of the crafting materials, it was a little bit from that abandoned drive-through building, um, and a little bit just kind of like what we had in the car already. Okay, so I think that this is probably a good spot to uh, park the car. Let's turn off the headlights. Um, turn off. Uh, yeah, let's turn off the aisle lights as well, and I think I've got my flashlight on as well. That's why we got the light on. Um, oh, the headlights are on. Uh, stop driving. So I think, yeah, there's a little bit of daylight outside or something right now. That's why we can see things. I've got, I think, uh, uh-oh, we got some fungus here. Oh man, that's gonna be annoying. 
we're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, let's deal with that from a distance, seeing I still have that beak. That means that, um, yeah, I'm basically gonna have, have an issue dealing with these guys until I can get a way to cover my beak a little bit better. But we'll, we'll kill the fungaloids for now, that I can see at least. That should, that should at least give me some wiggle room for, um, some crafting. I do want to get our farm up and going, but it is a little bit cold still right now. Also, let's get the repair now bots up just for a little bit. It looks like we got a limb that could, uh, could use some repair work. Yeah, um, ba basically right now I'm gonna work a little bit on this space, and it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like what I want to do. It's kind of hard to say what exactly Nosh would really do if he found, like, other people, but I think, um, if we look in that one film, uh, oh look, wild vegetables, perfect. If I could get, like, 20 or 30 wild vegetables, then I could go probably domestic those cows. Um, what happens if I pick them fiddleheads? What can I craft with a fiddlehead? I guess we can actually do a number of things. Huh. That, that, that is bizarre, but okay. I didn't know that you could actually eat fern, but you learn every, something new every day, right? Uh, could I use that for stuff? I kind of want to take the withered plants. Once our farm is up and running, we'll be just like drowning in, in withered plants. Like seriously, it's going to be crazy. Uh, mugwort is not something I tend to get though. The, the smart um, searching is is really messing with me right now. Okay, yeah, garlic seeds is good. I uh, I want to get like basically a little bit of everything that we've. Um, oh, could we do that? I think that might be something that we could use to make uh, cow fodder. I'm not sure. I mean, it's straw, right? Like, cows eat straw. Yeah, um, nope, that wasn't it. Yeah, I don't know about these, like, ferns. I don't think we really want to pick the ferns. Not really. Okay, it looks like we haven't really had much, uh, luck. I mean, we've had a little bit in terms of getting these wild vegetables, but we're gonna, this is gonna take forever to get these cows if we're only getting like one or two at a time. I got like seven. I mean, the thing is, is that we could also just like kill the cows. Which I am probably gonna do at least to one. Just to get a large stomach to make more of that um, cow mutagen. I think if we had two doses of cow mutagen serum, or just, I don't know something around that, then I'd be comfortable with uh, taking the dive and making our friend into a, a minotaur with his Balax. I'm so excited for that. It's it's a ways away. Like, don't be thinking that this is going to happen anytime in the next, like, episode or two. I mean, maybe it will, depending on how much I edit out, but we'll see. Yeah, see, we're only at nine. We're gonna need, a, like, the thing is that would be really great is if we found a ton of, um, barley or wheat. That, those are the things that you really want for making, uh, the cattle fodder. And if you could get a farm that actually has some of that already growing on it, that would be the way to go, really. Okay. Come on. Yeah, we're, I think we need to just... At this point... Go to a new location. Um, and we, we are getting good things here, it's just like... We have... 
drain the local resources. Oh, there are the fungaloids here. Yeah, I'm kind of... I, wasn't there that one quest that wanted us to, like, butcher a fungaloid corpse or something? Yeah, I think there was. I'm almost positive of it. <clears throat> yeah, I might see about grabbing one of their bodies and trying to do a dissection on it. Oh, look. <laughs> look at this. There's a little water pump here. That's actually awesome. So we can actually just... Oh, no. Uh, it says it looks unclean. Oh, you feel poisoned. Okay, I should not have drank from that. Or dishwashing. Okay, well... That was dumb of me. It even told me that it looked unclean. Okay, so what should I do? It says poisoned. We'll have a look at see if it ends up giving us um, any other issues. I think we can actually disassemble this. Uh, we don't have our toolbox with us, of course. I think we should just get in the car and we'll we'll disassemble that and get our own well put in our base um, soon. I think, but we'll need the toolbox to do so. Unless I have a toolbox here. I don't think I have a toolbox here. I've got a tool belt. Yeah. We don't have a toolbox. Do we have a hammer though? No hammer. Okay. Yeah. I think that we're going to have to get our toolbox and come back here. That's kind of frustrating, but it's it's okay. And let's get the headlights on, because we do have some pretty limited visibility right now. That would be nice. Also, our character could probably use with uh, a little sleep, and it is kind of night, so we should probably do that um, relatively soon. I, I think, though, we could get an NPC working on something for us. Let's, uh, let's park the car, like, right here. Yeah, let's get someone working on, um, and we'll, actually, is the toolbox being used right now? I think the toolbox might be being used, I don't know how me taking it was is going to affect this job. Maybe I should wait for them being done. This is, they've got an hour and a half to work on it. Yeah, I'm throwing up heavily. Sorry, guys, that's pretty gross. Um... Let's see, we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll just close this, and we'll go to sleep in our in our car, right? That's probably a good call. I'm a little bit nervous about being in the reality bubble of our cow. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll take the car, and we're just gonna... Uh, this is so frustrating. I need to close that, and yeah, if I click sideways, then it lets me... Yeah, it's just a little bit different than how I'm used to controlling that aspect of the game. We'll get we'll get the pump in the water and do all that when she's actually done using it. Is that is that what I really is that an actual Kevlar Hulk? If that is an actual Kevlar Hulk, then we're gonna have some target practice. I'm not very hungry right now, not for food, but for Kevlar Hulk. I think I could go for that. It, uh, do I hear something shooting there? The shot reflects off the thick hide. Uh, oh, it's a Migo. So it's fighting some sort of Migo. I'm, I'm just gonna kind of step back into the light. Just because I don't know what Migo is shooting you and what they're shooting you with. Just a little bit nervous about that. And am I on auto? No, I'm on semi-auto. Good. I don't want to waste ammo. Not yet. Only 24 damage. It seems to be kind of on the low end for me. Yeah, this seems to not be nearly as effective as I thought it would be. Maybe it's just that it's a Kevlar Hulk. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll, we'll run a little bit. 
Actually, I'm going to turn our joint servos on so when we actually do need a run, we can do that a little bit faster. Yeah, and they're going to try and close the distance on me. But that's okay because I'm actually super fast. And how are you doing? Probably hit you a couple more times. And I think one more should put you down. Nope. Okay, never mind. Let's, uh, let's get just a little bit more distance in between us. How's my ammo? I got 4 out of 20. Okay, cool. Um, stop running. And we also don't need those repair nail bots on anymore. No need to waste power. I mean, we have so much power in the car, it's fine. Actually, did I just see that message correct? Did it just say that, um... I don't have enough power. So if that's the case then I need to um like eat a battery. So if I go to how how do I do this again? I'm confused it says so I don't have enough power to turn it on. Fuel saving is on. Um, so I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to look at a battery, and I'm pretty sure there are charged batteries in here. Yeah, like, look at all these. Like that. I should be able to eat that, right? Why am I not seeing it? I'm, I'm confused. Here we go. Let's go with the high capacity ones. We'll we'll eat from that. And that should give us um plenty of power. I must have mistyped it or something, sorry. <laughs> and then we'll we'll go ahead and if I do have let's actually just kind of unload the car a little bit. Which actually reminds me we we probably need to unload the car a fair amount back at base. We just probably have a ton of stuff that we could um very easily store in there and not have to be lugging around for example like extra batteries or like extra food like the old the food that's got to be preserved for a long time and doesn't need to stay cold in our fridge sure like put that in there right i'm actually carrying a number of things i don't need to be carrying um you know i f i feel like it's really kind of dangerous to try and sleep here, but if anything does come by, I want to know. Because, um, we do have cows that are living kind of close to here. And the cows should run away from the sound of gunfire, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know how how this is really going to work. Man, you know, I'm I'm kind of... I feel like the universe is trying to tell me that Nosh uh, needs to be a bird man. Because he's developed this beak. But the other part of me wants to purify it away and pursue that mutagen tree. I don't know. What do you think? <clears throat> like, what's your feelings on that? What do you think is a, is a better for the Let's Play? Go ahead and open that up. I just kind of want to have a look around me. See that robin over there might lay some eggs. I could actually take the eggs I have right now and just keep them. Oh, also, something I kind of wanted to show you is I knocked down a section of the wall so we could drive the car up over to that lake and get water from it. I didn't know that there was a water pump at that, that other thing that was just right there. So, yeah. Kind of a waste of effort. Yeah, I kind of want to just get three cows... Or two cows. And we can only get two at a time anyway. So let's just go ahead and get two cows. Let's go um, and make some more uh, fodder. Okay, so that's one. And I think we had the other around here. So yeah, we'll take both of those. So we got two cattle fodder. And we'll just drive the car up like basically up to the cows 
try and find them in in their pen. Hopefully, not run into any um anything that's gonna cause us too much issues. Yeah, so we'll just kind of roll in here. Where were they when I last saw them? They're like over there. Okay, so they're gonna be. Oh look, there's chickens. What? There's straight up chickens. Oh my gosh, guys, we could we could get some chickens and some cows. Let's try and do that right now. Let's try and get uh Oh it's it seems that our car is is stuck. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> let's uh let's just leave the car here for a minute. And maybe turn off the headlights, I don't know. And it looks like, yeah, it's actually bright enough that we don't need to use headlights. Um, can I make more? What do we need for uh, the cattle fodder? I just want to just check again. Yeah, it's weird to me that you can't use, like, straw anymore. It's kind of dumb. Or, like, withered plants. Like, seriously? Okay. <clears throat> In any case. We also do need to kill a cow, but I want to catch a cow or two first. Oh, what's what's this about something being hostile? That cow is hostile to me, so are they going to charge at me? If they are going to charge at me, that's great. Why are they hostile, though? Oh no, there's a number of hostile cows. Uh oh, is this like one of those things where all the cows are going to kill each other? Oh no, they're attacking the pigs! Okay, well I think we can at least domesticate one cow here, if not two, and then get them to the car. And then the the war, war cows will see about what, what to do about that. Let's see, we'll get you to be friendly. There's that one that's up there that's like, gone, it's like straight up gone to war against the other cows. And then let's get you to be friendly. The other ones seem to be not really bothering us. Friendly cows, you should be coming with me, right? Like, don't you follow me, or, or how does this work? Oh no, 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 no! Is that not my friendly cow? It's not my friendly cow, these are my two friendly cows. I, I, I pressed E and then towards them, and I, I meleeed them. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I'm too heavy to mount the cow. That's a shame. I don't, I don't like that. Uh, well, we've got two friendly cows right there. I suppose I can drive the car to them. That's what we were trying to do in the first place. I mean, I could just make myself lighter. I am incredibly, incredibly overweighed with, like, gear right now, <laughs> so... I mean, we're like the cyborg person rolling around, like, four magazines and, like, a gallon jug of water. All kinds of unnecessary things. I mean, I don't need really all these bandages now that we, um... We have our... whatchamacallit? Um, I kind of want to keep this stuff on us, though. Maybe not that. Maybe that's light enough now. I'm just going to try and get the car just a little bit closer. Ah, it's so annoying how the cars and the bushes interact like that. Okay, I think that we're through that just a little bit. Is that... Our friendly cow? I don't think it is. I think our friendly cows are around here. Here they are. Yeah, let's get right up next to them. Let's just slow it down just a little bit, because we are next to our babies. Okay. Hello, cow. Um, I'm going to mount you. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to switch positions and push you inside. 
and just push you a little bit further. And guess what? You've been punked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what became came over me there. I think. Yeah, this one I might just push. No, nah, we're gonna we're gonna get you right by the door. I'll just make it faster. Trust me. I have experience with this. Um. Okay, so we have the two cows that we can carry. Oh, hold on. And then... I think... I'm trying to get you there. Okay, so we got the two cows away. Um, I think we can get two chickens, though. So uh, how, how about bird food? I, I don't know what I'm using to make the bird food here. Corn. Sure, let's let's get at least one one chicken here. Um that nah, let's let's get let's get two. Um let's get another bird food. One more corn. It's it's super quick to craft, that's why I'm uh I'm doing this right here. I don't know if the war cows trying to yeah they're trying to like kill everything oh there's also a goat oh man i want goat milk i don't think it's in game though um there's the chickens they're down by the farm okay let's go down to the farm stead and we'll see if we can get them a little bit of like a here's johnny moment <laughs> No, we're gonna not ram this. It's, I mean, I I have done that in the past, but it's kind of a little bit um, unnecessary here. Okay, so this this animal's trying to flee me, but they're cornered on this building. That's why I was able to get right next to them. And look, the chicken likes me. Hello. I can play that with um. Um. So if I go over here, will you follow me? No? How does this work? This might be um, a little bit more difficult. Let's switch and then I'm going to push you. It resisted. Excuse me, chicken. You're going to resist me? I'm actually going to walk over here and if you follow me, then we're cool. If not, I'm going to have to swap positions with you every once in a while. Nope. We're going this way, chicken. Same deal, bud. Uh, I can tell that this this is going to be very frustrating. I, I don't think I have a carrier, a pet carrier, in the car, but I might. I'm I'm a little bit worried about this barbed wire here, chicken. No, stop going over there. I'm just actually just gonna come up here and see if you'll come towards me. No. Hmm. Yeah, this this may be more frustration than it's worth trying to get you back there. Maybe I'll just get you inside here for now. I think that might be the best bet. And there's other farm animals in here. Where did you go? There you are. Do you actually try and follow me? It looks to me like you do, but then like you do that. Like, are you trying to stay away from something? Are you scared of something? Are you scared of like the fence? Come here. Okay, actually, you know what? Now that the fence is just a little bit more cleared out, I think that we can we can just push you yes i think i think we have this good lord no don't go on that don't go on that get off of that chicken you managed to get somehow not hurt by that 
I am impressed and also really irritated. No, come over here. Life is torture. I think I have him. Yes, I have you, chicken. I have you. Um, and then... Oh, the chihuahuas in that one. Okay, let's get the chicken in that one. And I actually kind of forgot that I had the chihuahua in there. So I think that I can only get the one chicken for now. But we have a chicken that we're going to bring back to our evac shelter. Um, in case you haven't watched the other series, this is going to become an NPC base. Um, so... We're kind of ransacking what will be our friends, but uh, I think it's worthwhile. In the short term, it gives us cows, which I want. And um, actually, oh man, it's we're already at 35 minutes. I just want to show you that job that that, that person was working on earlier. I'm just going to try and fly back to the base quickly. And try and not kill cows. I don't know how many cows died this episode off screen. I think it, it was actually a significant amount. Oh, come on. Come on, car. Don't do this to me. We have to back out of here. Can I go forward now? Yes, I can. Uh, there we go. And I think we're just about at that corner out of here. Yes, we are. And then we can turn here. Cool. It'll get easier the more we go up and down through there. It, it really should be not a big deal at all. It's kind of nice to know about that little pump at that little house there. And we are back at our base. With uh, said cows and chicken. Um, before I unload those, I will get them inside the house. I know it's kind of super gross, but Nosh, you know, he, that's how he rules. He likes to live with the animals. Oh, we have a bat. We have like a little friend, a little friendly bat in here. That is cool. <laughs> we're, we're Batman over here. Oh no, it was, an, it was our, that's just being a psychopath. Um, so let's see, recover ally from build workbench. So Tasia, they're disappointed that the pantry is empty. That's fine because now we have, it looks to me like this. Yeah, this is the workbench right here. And then if I look here, what can we, can we craft things with that? Like what can you do with, um, with the workbench? I feel like there must be, must be jobs that you can do with it. And I mean, maybe it's one of those related things. Maybe companions will use it for various crafting. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not seeing things right now. But I mean, we can get a well. That was the other thing that I was talking about. That that takes a whole day for someone to do those. So that is something that I might do off camera, like kind of in between this episode and the next one. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that. And we'll look at how this uh, the other jobs work um, with that workbench. Yeah, cool. All right, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.